BC 26 live at 10. A Milwaukee man in trouble with the law for shooting his lawnmower with a sawed off shotgun. The reason it wouldn't start. Reporter Mick Trevi spoke to his neighbors about this unusual crime. Many fans from Kansas come down here without tickets, so many just go right to the box office where they still have tickets available. This is a home neighbors tell us she came to every day. She wasn't even living here, but she came here daily to feed the cats. Neighbors are also upset with management because they told them over and over that this house was a health hazard. So we asked property owner Alan Murphy. Do you feel responsible for what happened? No. You don't feel responsible at all? Topeka police tell us that the driver turned off of 10th Avenue onto Kansas Avenue and ended up right here on the sidewalk, all before running a man over and then just taking off. The customer was overcharged not once, not twice, three times. We are also hearing from people close to Wendy Brown who say she has a history of lying. NBC 26 reporter Mitch Weber continues our live team coverage with more on Brown. This is not the picture of Wendy Brown that could have ended up in the yearbook at Ashwaubenon High School. The 33 year old fooled not only school officials, but her husband James. I love my wife with all my heart. James hasn't talked to his wife, Wendy, since it went public. She pretended to be a new student using her 15 year old daughter's identity. Her husband wants to know why. This is a place she rented with her husband, which is directly across the street from the school that she attended for only one day. We have kids in our high schools that look 12 years old. We got them look 40 years old. And this person was dressed like, a, like an adolescent. But her adult actions before this is what put her behind bars and kept her from the second day of school. Her previous landlord, Darren DeWitt, contacted police after he caught her impersonating him and his wife. She's a good liar. I know that. Uh, Did she look like a teenager to you? No. I thought she was probably closer to 40. And we showed her mugshot to a cheerleader who's walking by in the last hour. And she said the cheer squad thought the same thing. When questioned, Wendy Brown told them she looked like this because of sun damage. In your corner, Nash Wabadon, Mitch Weber, NBC 26. His mother believes it was more than luck. She believes he has a guardian angel looking out for him. And by the looks of the Fox River tonight, you might have to agree with her. The 10 year old boy was down here playing by these raging waters when curiosity turned into chaos. This site created a flood fascination for a group of boys living near the Fox River in Kakana. For 10 year old Aaron Marker, that fascination ended as quickly as it began. I was over by the river with some of my friends checking out how it was. Then some water splashed to my leg and I fell in. My whole life flashed before my eyes. It was really rushing fast. Way over 20 miles per hour, I'd say. His brother and two friends on shore were as helpless as he was in the raging river. I was rushing down the river. Those guys were chasing me, trying to keep up. And I managed to hang on to a tree branch. Kakana utility workers nearby came to the rescue and pulled him to safety. Just a stuffy nose and a little lack of energy, but other than that, I'm okay. I'm just glad to have my baby. Neighbors we talked to, not surprised. They've warned the kids before. I've seen them down there a couple times. I just yelled at him to get off them rocks. He's right by the edge there. I didn't want him to fall in. And I almost lost him because he wouldn't listen. You've been told not to go by the river before. Yeah, but I guess I didn't listen. Are you going to listen now? Yes. And even tonight, you can see how turbulent the river is. Kakan officials worry that if the flooding continues, it's going to only going to stay like this for the rest of the summer. They also want this to be a reminder to everyone to stay away from these dangerous currents. Mitch Weber, BC 26, live in Kakana. Many fans from Kansas come down here without tickets, so many just go right to the box office where they still have tickets available. Others will try their luck out here on the street with the scalpers. And as I found out today, those with the most to sell have the most to lose. Fans for both Kansas teams without tickets took their chances on the way to the Ford Center for today's games. First round is, is kind of slow because it's cheap ticket. No, they got tickets in the window. While looking for fans, I ran into this guy, or I should say he ran into me. He wouldn't give me his name, but as this video shows, I definitely got his number. He is just one of many others selling tickets for what they claim is a great deal even though they wouldn't do a transaction with me watching. Why don't you guys talk to me? I don't want to send a man without my permission. His buddy tried to block me from getting video of a possible deal. 
Hey, you want to be filmed, you man? You want to be filmed? No, I don't want to be filmed, sir. Hey, yo. You have tickets? No. Do you plan on getting tickets? Yes. How do you plan on getting tickets? I don't know. What about these gentlemen over here? Are they trying to talk you into getting tickets? Yeah. What, what are they selling them for? Like 60 each. Yeah. Is that face value? Uh. Clay and his family finally got their tickets, not from a scalper, but rather Sean Norman's ticket business. We try not to uh, associate ourselves with too many of the, the street people. I mean, we're a we're legitimate business, been in business for you know over eight years. Yeah, the real story never gets out. So. What is the real story? I'll get it out. It's just about supply and demand. People about the, the cost of tickets. But... No? Yeah. I guarantee you one thing, though, the hotels aren't the same price this week as they were last week either. But one KU fan didn't care if this group was legit. So how did you do? Well, I done good. I got a face value. Really? Yeah. So, uh, so Lower there... level, yeah. center court, face value. Many fans believe they do get good deals outside of the Ford Center from those selling here on the street. But remember, anything over face value is against the law. Reporting from Oklahoma City, Mitch Weber, 27 News.